Hey everybody, make sure you hang around to the end of the video to find out the information for next week's giveaway drawing. It's on with the shave. There's no shave tonight. Guys, I need to apologize. Um, no shave video this week. I've already shaved. Um, I didn't hit the record button. <laughs> I sat here and talked for 25 minutes to myself. <clears throat> anyway, um, I ended up not shaving the, the beard off. I took off the mustache, kept the beard, because uh, I, I thought, I like it. I think it looks good. Looks cool. Um, yeah, got a little bit of razor burn across my lip here. Um, it's been so long since I've shaved there. It doesn't really surprise me, but no nicks. No nicks, no cuts. I think I got it okay. Um, it's not exactly BBS. I didn't. I didn't go up. I went. I went down and across, but I didn't go up. Um, face feels okay. Uh, tonight we used uh, the Eastwood Rockwell Six C with the Plate Five with the feather, the Shore Shave Synthetic Brush, and the Feather Nanka Pre Shave Gel. Right. So let's go into the. Uh, Let's go into the living room and I'll follow up on the Van Halen story that I just sat here and told you guys. Be right back. Okay, back into the living room. All right, let's hit the witch hazel real quick. Um, it's what? It's what? 1130 at night, so I won't be using any aftershave lotion. Witch hazel's good enough. Whoa. Oh, feels good. Oh, I didn't do my ice cube. All right, tonight we have Mickey Mouse. You see Mickey on there? Those little circles, Mickey Mouse face. Oh, anyway, oh, it feels good. That nice, cool, cold air. Okay, anyway, so I sat there and told you guys my Van Halen story um, without the camera running. Okay, well, let's do it here. You know what? Let's take it upstairs. We'll take it upstairs. We'll, we'll do it up there. Uh, oh, but before we go, I want to show you guys kind of what I go through down here. Now, I've got a towel sitting here on the table. The towel is similar in texture to this. It's one of these tight weaved, uh, like like a barbershop towel. And what I do is when I take my, my razor apart, I shake the water out of the end of it and just lie it down there. And then I take the, the plate off and I, you know, dry it with, with a regular towel. Um, and I take a Q-tip and run it down through the circles. I take the blade off like this. Um, this one, I do the same thing with a towel. Um, the blade, um, I lie it on the towel there on the table, which is like this. And I lie it on there <clears throat> flat. Jesus Christ. Lie it on there flat like this. And then I just take the top of the, the towel and I just put it over it and I just touch it like that. And then I flip it over and I touch it again like that. So there's no rubbing of the blade or anything like that. And then I just let it sit there. I let everything sit here for a couple hours and let them dry up. Um, make everything, make sure everything dries. Don't want any don't want to promote any kind of rust or anything like that um, for the <clears throat> for the plate I'll just use a regular towel like this um, just wipe it off uh, if there's any of the glue spots Bob <laughs> that are stuck on here um, then I'll have yeah I'll have to take those off um, which is a pain in the butt especially if it's on this piece because it's down and it gets down next to these little these little uh, poles on here um so anyway do that and then i'll you know wipe this off real quick just give it a quick wipe like that and shake it again and uh the, yeah i'll just let them sit there on that towel for about two three hours well it's late at night so they'll probably sit there all night till morning and then in the morning i'll put all that away all right let's move upstairs and i'll tell you guys the van halen story Let's go.
Okay, guys, we are back. For those of you who haven't been in my room yet, this is my room. Um, this is where I uh, do my, I teach in here at night. Uh, somebody said, oh, you're awfully new. You got a very nice mic for being a new YouTuber. I'm not a new YouTuber. I've been on YouTube for like 15 years. Plus, I teach. <laughs> I teach online. I sit here every night like this. Um, so we've got Ed here, right? Uh, we've got some ACDC over here. I got Batman over there. I've got a Van Halen towel right here in my guitar. One of my guitars is here. Got a couple other guitars over here, over there, and some amps and the Van Halen stuff and Van Halen poster. Bengal tell me. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, the second day, uh, we decided to go to the arena a little early. So we went down to um, the Hard Rock Cafe in Ropungi to have lunch. Now, when we went in, we were wearing, we had our backstage passes hanging around our necks. And I'm going to have to find my pass. I thought it was hanging there, but it's it's not there. So I'm going to have to find it, and I will show it to you guys. Um, um, so we went to the Hard Rock Cafe in Ropungi to have lunch. And we had our backstage passes around our necks. And the staff thought we worked for the band. So they gave us free lunch and offered us 50% off anything in their, in their gift shop. Well, we took the lunch, but I didn't really want to take advantage of the, the gift shop thing. So I just got a, I got a shot glass because, you know, I've got a bunch of hard rock cafe shot glasses. So I thought oh, it wouldn't hurt to have one from Tokyo. Um, so I got that and I paid full price. I told him, well, you know, it's, you know, it's cheap enough. I don't need to, I don't need a discount on it. My friend on the other hand, degenerate, um, he, he took the discount, bought a bunch of crap. Anyway, so uh, we go to the Budokan, and we're there. Uh, the band comes in. They do their sound check. They do blah, blah, blah. And um, Gary comes off stage. He sits with us for a while. We're just talking about stuff. I asked him about more than words. Um, you know, was it, was it tough writing that song? Did you know you had a hit? Blah, blah, blah. And he said that actually he had gone over to Nuno's grandma's house and Nuno was sitting on the porch with his guitar and he was sitting there just picking those chords out and they wrote that song in like 20 minutes. Now, you know, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what he said. Okay, anyway, so we talked to him for a while. Then, after he disappeared, uh, Eddie's tech came over. He says, do you, you guys want to play his guitar? no why would we want to do that now with our backstage passes we had all access so we were allowed anywhere in the arena um except on the stage and he said well you guys can come on up so we got up on stage and um they had these risers kind of like those things the elephants stand on in the circus because their their theme was kind of like a circus theme uh for their stage so they had these like little risers on the stage that looked like those things that the elephants and the animal stands on at a circus at a circus. So anyway, um, he tells me to sit down on the on the riser there. So I sit down and he brings the guitar over and he's holding it like this. He's holding it like this. And he says, and I, I reached for it. He says, no, no, no. He goes, he goes, I'll I'll give it to you. And he takes it like this, he turns it around, and he leans it in, and he puts it on my lap, okay? And he says, he says, now you can play it as long as you want. He says, but when you're finished, don't bring it to me. He says, call me over here. When I come over, don't stand up with it. Don't hand it out to me. Just keep it on your lap. I will reach in and take it. Damn! Right? So that that's what you get for... That's, that's the, the care that God's guitar is under. Right. Um, so anyway, so that was kind of, that I thought that was really cool. Now, anybody knows anything about guitars? Um, the action is the, the distance from the fret. It would be the distance here between the, the string and the fret between the string and the fingerboard. So the height of the strings off of the fingerboard, Eddie's action was so low. Anybody who plays guitar, it was so low. It's unbelievable that he didn't get any any kind of buzz off of it. Unbelievable, unbelievably low. And um, we got to watch him practicing 
Oh, they have one acoustic song. And he was sitting there on the riser. And we were literally like from here to the door. I mean, that's how close we were. And it was like four of us and Eddie Van Halen standing right up there on stage. And uh, he's just picking around on his acoustic guitar. I've never seen that kind of accuracy on a guitar in my life. I mean, it was unbelievable. I always kind of felt like when I hear somebody playing an acoustic guitar, you kind of hear, I, I really have a tough time describing this, so I hope people can understand. I always kind of feel like you can hear noise like in between the strings. There's like a little buzz or something. Like a, nothing. It was crystal clear and he was, he didn't miss a note and he was lightning fast. I mean, a lot faster than he looks on TV. I was shocked at how God dang fast he was. Um, not that speed is everything, but you know, you don't, I mean, you see somebody like Steve I or Paul Gilbert and you think, man, those guys are really fast. I mean, Ed was, yeah. I mean, right in front of your eyes, it's pretty incredible. Um, anyway, so that's day two. Yeah. Uh, next week on next week's shave, I will tell you guys all about, now I'm a former professional pool player. So I took a three ball with me cause it was the Van Halen three tour. So next week I will tell you about getting the ball signed by the band. All right, that's a preview for this for, for, for next week. Okay. And Ed will say good night. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, when this vid when this video went up, when it started, last week's video was shut off. So uh next week we will have the drawing for the giveaway. All right, so stay tuned for that. And if you didn't stay this long to hear it, well, if you miss it, too bad, right? I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be here and watch the video all the way through. All right, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday, and then we'll do the drawing next Saturday. All right. Peace, guys. Good night.